So today I want to talk about something that I've noticed that other people have been discussing and thinking about because it's an event that's going to happen pretty soon, like within the next few months, and that is the death of Miiverse. And I want to talk about what that was for me. And well, see, I liked Miiverse, but it was only to a certain point, and I'll explain why. I liked drawing for Miiverse, I liked posting um, pictures I made for Miiverse, and posting them to different communities, and you know, in Miiverse and all that, and it, it was cool, because although you were extremely limited to what you could draw, in terms of, you know, like tools and what you could do, if you had enough skill, that was not a big issue and you can work around that and still apply your um, techniques to the Wii U gamepad and actually add shading, add highlighting, you know, stuff like that to your drawings for Eber. So it was cool. Like I remember drawing Toon Link for when I would uh, do something in Wind Waker and I would have him um, sort of pop up in some of my screenshots and to sort of reflect more of what I was uh, going through and what I was feeling, I guess, while playing the game and, you know, stuff like that. So it was, it was cool. I liked it for doing that. But there was also something that I didn't like. Um, seeing how Miiverse was trying to be as family-friendly as possible, you really couldn't just talk the way you, you normally would. Certain words that aren't even cuss words are still considered bad on Miiverse, like saying crap, C-R-A-P, crap, that would be considered to be bad and you could not post your um, sentence that you want to make on Miiverse that had that word. I'm pretty sure, let's see what else, crap was one, I'm pretty sure dang was one, because that's basically damn. I'm pretty sure that also got censored, or whatever you would call that on Miiverse. So, the fact that it was trying so hard to be this kid-friendly, family-friendly place when, you know, you just have to accept the reality that the internet is not like that because it's for everyone, that um, certain words be filtered out, and it, it was very black and white. Like, even if you weren't uh, meaning to say something mean or, or bad or whatever, if you just had certain words, your comment would then get deleted. A uh, perfect example of this would be when I played Xenoblade Chronicles X, and you know, that is technically a Nintendo game, it's a second party Nintendo game, for those of you who don't know what that means. That is basically that Nintendo owns the IP, they own the characters, all that crap, but it was made by somebody else. Monolith Soft made the Xenoblade games, but Nintendo owns the rights. So I, I guess that'd be kind of like Kingdom Hearts too, where the, that's technically a Disney IP, even though Square Enix made it. Yeah, so I guess it's, it's kind of like that. So basically Nintendo owns Xenoblade, and that's technically a Nintendo series. So I thought, though, because it's more mature subject matter, that they'll be more okay with you using certain words. I was playing a side story, or you would call it side mission, where it dealt with um, mature topics like religion and um, how that can affect one's behavior and how that can affect your beliefs and how some people take it too far. And it goes from just being something that benefits you um, as a person and, and it benefits you in some way, shape, or form. But taking it too far to the point it's an obsession, it's an addiction, it turns into basically like this cult where they're trying to brainwash everybody into thinking and believing what they believe and doing what they want to do. And there's an alien race that uh, believes in something uh, that is a religion and uh, to, I don't know, do like some crazy sacrifice or something, the alien basically commits suicide. She pours something in a beach 
so she's um, making the water polluted and toxic and then she uh, I think she drinks from the, the beach she drinks the same water that she polluted and instantly dies and I was like oh god this is actually really mature for a uh, Nintendo game so I wanted to post about it and talk about you know how I thought that was that was really cool that Nintendo was you know okay with having this kind of subject matter and what is still technically their IP technically their their uh, game I guess sort of whatever so I go and post on Miiverse you know I can't believe this character committed suicide and because I mentioned the scary word suicide instantly got deleted I'm like are you serious I'm not encouraging suicide, I'm not saying that it's okay to do it, I'm not saying that, you know, uh, suicide is, I, I don't know, well, like, like, I'm not saying anything bad, I'm just saying I can't believe this character committed suicide in a, what's technically a Nintendo game. And then there's another one that has mature subject matter too, where I briefly I'll mention it here. We're basically about um, being racist and uh, xenophobic, and there's this one human character who wants to commit genocide and kill every single alien in uh, uh, the planet you live on, which is Mira. And he wants to kill the aliens that are our allies in Xenoblade Chronicles X, and he wants to, you know, kill them all. And there's actually a cutscene where you actually see. A few aliens already dead. You see, you see their corpses, their bodies, and then you see uh, another one get shot in the face. And I'm like, oh god, this is like again really mature for a Nintendo game. And I like that. But if you comment about that and you mention certain words, your post is going to get taken down. So I like Miiverse, but at the same time, I don't like it because it is just so strict. It is so restricting. It is so just black and white, like, it, it tries so hard to be kid-friendly that it feels claustrophobic, it feels like there's really not a lot you can do, not a lot you can say, because if you do, then your post is going to get taken down. For example, here's another thing that I mentioned. This was back before Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS was released, and uh, someone was talking about, yeah, I remember now. This was back when uh, people weren't sure if Mewtwo was going to be added to the game. Because this was, you know, before DLC was even announced. This was back when we all thought DLC was not confirmed and we were not going to have it for Smash on Wii U and 3DS. So back then, when we were all sad and disappointed that we were not going to get Mewtwo and that Lucario was his permanent replacement, I said something like, at least Mewtwo can get his revenge in Project M. And because of me mentioning Project M, I got uh, contacted by the Miiverse people, the, I don't know what they're called, anyway, my comment was taken down for supposedly promoting criminal activity, which is bullcrap because Project M is in a gray area. It's not like 100% illegal, it's not, you know, completely bad, but at the same time, you know, you are still using copyrighted IPs from Nintendo, but they change, you know, Smash Bros. so much that it becomes its own thing. It has its own animation, it has its own modes, it has completely uh, new physics, it has completely original stages for, you know, the game. And it has stages redone completely from scratch by them. So yeah, like it's this gray area where, where yeah, you are still using you know copyrighted characters, you are using you know someone else's IP, but at the same time you're changing it so much that it's become its own thing. It's, it has even its own exclusive characters in Project M. So it's not criminal activity. It's not like I'm stealing or killing or whatever. I'm just playing a freaking mod. You know, I'm just playing a video game. It's really not that bad, Nintendo. It's really not. And yet, because of mentioning Project M, my comment got deleted. So, yeah, Miiverse is very strict. It's very... Just... I don't know, like... 
I liked it. I liked it for drawing. I liked it for posting screenshots. I liked it mainly for that, but you can tell it was aimed at kids. I remember someone even friend requested me on Mavers, and I think the kid, the person, claimed to be seven years old. And the person's like, do you want to be my friend? I'm seven. I'm like, uh, okay. Like, why are you telling me your age, you know? I don't really see how that's relevant. But that's just the way Mavers is. It really does feel like it was made for little kids. And if anyone who is older tries to use Beavers, you have to be so careful what you say and, you know, things like that because then you can get, get your post taken down. And if I remember right, I think it's like a three strikes in your out sort of thing where if you get too many, um, uh, bans, well not bans, but if you get too many things taken down from Beavers, I think that they, they kick you out. If I remember right. I don't know. Knowing Nintendo, they probably do. So yeah, I like it. It's just, you know, it, 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 did, it did feel restricting. It really did feel like there was only so much I could say and only so much I can do. And it does suck that it's going to go away. Because, you know, there's a lot of people that still use Miiverse. And there's a lot of people that like Miiverse, and there's so many games that are going to be affected by taking it down, like, I love how, because, you know, it, it's Miiverse, there is some, I don't know, leeway, I guess, I guess that's the word for it, like, yeah, I've been talking about all this time how it's really strict and restraining, but at the same time, they can't keep track of every single thing you post, so because of that, Freaking Smash Bros. Wii U, the Miiverse stage, it was hilarious because you, you could get away with drawing a penis and just posting it and it would pop up. Or you could um, post other really perverted, messed up imagery that, that, that just doesn't fit Miiverse at all and post it because it's a drawing. They can't track every single drawing. So with drawings, you can get away a bit more with their per perverted humor and the way you really talk. I've seen people actually put such stuff like, uh, I don't know, like, um, Marth fucking sucks, and they don't censor it. So, drawing, that using a drawing feature was also a way to sort of get around the censorship and just put whatever you want, and it was hilarious. Just seeing all these things that just clash with Nintendo's family-friendly vibe pop up in Smash Bros. Me vs. Wii U stage, it was hilarious. I loved it, I thought it was so funny. And then you see the really weird posts too, like people saying they want to have sex with a video game character, and it's really weird, it's really dumb. Or people just casually talking about their family, like, I miss my mom and dad, I wish they wouldn't argue as much, like, why are you posting such personal information online? It's really weird, like, you, you, you don't do that, you know? Apparently most people don't understand that, you know, having pr privacy, having private life. But, uh, yeah, it was hilarious. Miiverse was hilarious for all of those reasons, and you see videos about that all over YouTube, just, just the weirdness of Miiverse, and how, since again, most of it is populated by kids, Kids can't draw for crap unless they have already many years of experience drawing. So they just draw stick figures or straight up blobs, things I can't even distinguish as an image. I can't tell what it even is. And it's hilarious. Neighbors sucks, but it's also hilarious and cool at the same time. And it's a shame that it's gonna go. But at the same time, I feel like it is for the best. Um, People have already been, you know, using Facebook more and other social media websites more than Miiverse. Nintendo claims that that wasn't the case, but that is the case. Back in 2012, people were still using Facebook over Miiverse and other social websites over Miiverse. But Nintendo doesn't see it that way. They saw it as people use Miiverse more back then and now they're moving over to Facebook, but that's not the case. We've always used Facebook more than Miiverse. 
But anyway, we start finally starting to somewhat get it, and we're finally starting to somewhat get with the times and realize it's okay for us to post screenshots of your games on Facebook. It's okay to post pictures of your games on Twitter and other websites. It is free advertising. So, they're getting there. They're getting there. Now, if Nintendo allows you to record playing their games and then post it online, or even YouTube, you know, on, on Facebook or, and, or YouTube, and they don't copyright strike you, then we'll know for real if they're really starting to wake up and realize that, you know, free advertising is okay. It's okay for other people to somewhat mess with your IP as long as they are not getting money from it. It's okay, Nintendo. It's okay. You know? So we'll see. We'll see about that. But Miiverse was cool. I'm gonna miss Miiverse. I uh, liked using it unironically. I liked using it for drawing. I liked using it for posting screenshots. I, I did. I liked it. And it sucks that it's gonna go away, but I'm not that upset about it, because, you know, I've never really used it that much. It was just mainly for posting a screenshot, and that was really it. Or, or drawing, that was really it. And since, again, most of it was made up of kids, I really had no one to really talk to. It would just be stupid little comments from stupid little kids, so it was okay. Miiverse was okay, could have been better, but, uh, thankfully Nintendo starting to get more modern and hopefully someday they'll let us record and let's play their IPs without anyone getting in trouble. And you know, we'll see, we'll see. Because as it stands now, the only way you can let's play a Nintendo game on YouTube and not get in trouble is if you're a really, really big YouTuber like the Game Grumps. But anybody else try that and you're gonna get your video taken down. I know somebody who actually um, got their Ocarina of Time Let's Play completely shut down by Nintendo and they um, copyright strikes the video, I think. And, and it was flagged. So yeah, Nintendo, I really hope that, you know, with Miiverse this is a sign of them waking up and that they will someday get more modern with other things too. This is when finally going away. It sucks that Miiverse is going, but oh well. Miiverse is dead and I will miss it. This is when I'm finally going away. I will see you all next time. Bye.